Cora, aren't you supposed to be gone? And aren't you supposed to be sleeping, you big doofus? It's just so boring at home. If that's the case, I can tell you I'll pass, not one of your weird stories again. You'd miss a tale about fighting, monstrous beasts, princes, and revenge? There was once a kingdom in the far east that grew the most beautiful blue roses that were even treasured by the queen herself. However, without warning, beasts as tall as trees and black as coal came to the land, destroying everything in their path. A kingdom thrown in turmoil, the king ordered his eldest son, Prince Alias, to gather his finest knights and kill the horrid beasts. Now the younger prince, Shin, was not concerned. The queen's sadness troubled him greatly. Is the beast gonna eat Shin now? Because I'd rather Shin punch the beast at his stupid face. I'm getting to that. You're telling me that the boy and the beast are just going to hold hands and sing Kumbaya? Lame. Oh well, I wouldn't expect an eight-year-old to understand at all. I guess little Ruben is too old for happy endings. Happy endings are overrated. Just look at Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, yeah, don't tell me that you changed your mind later. Alias and his group of knights enter the scene. The elder prince stares in disbelief as his gaze wanders from Shin, the beast, and finally the roses. His eyes harden. Alias ignores Shin and his knights circle the beast, their bows drawn. The beast lets out a whimper and buries his face in his paws. A newfound surge of strength enters Shin and he runs towards the beast only to be stopped by Alias himself. Alias punches Shin hard on the face and the younger prince falls to the floor. At this, the beast growls with rage and roughly pushes past the surrounding knights. The beast then scratches Alias across the cheek. Stunned at the sudden action, the elder prince's face slowly contorts with anger. The beast shrinks back, shocked at what he has done. Shin grabs the beast's hand and leads him urgently into the forest to avoid his brother's wrath. In the distance, he can hear the sound of the war horn. Alias' group chases him closely behind. The beast doesn't let go of Shin's hand. Paz, please don't let the beast die, Cora. He hasn't done anything wrong. True, but the beasts invaded the kingdom, ruined their land. I get it, Cora. You just want to make a depressing story like always. Hey, you said the happy endings were overrated, doofus. Please make this one end well. The elder prince Alias raised his right hand, stopping his knights from releasing their arrows. He stared in bewilderment at the beast who was shielding the younger prince with his own body. The beast had escaped death by protecting the life of another, but knew that he could not stay any longer in Shin's world. As a farewell gift, he gave the boy a freshly picked blue rose, the same flower he had been holding the whole time. <laughs>